So people, to summarize, our patient Mrs. M is a case of preeclampsia with severe features. We achieved her BP control with oral labetalol. We gave her magnesium sulfate for the prevention of eclampsia. All her maternal biochemical parameters are in the normal range. Ultrasound and Doppler examination for the fetus is also reassuring. So we shifted her to the ward for the expected management. So now it is 24 hours post cesarean section. Magnesium sulfate is stopped. Her BP is under control and the baby and mother, they are both doing well. So we all saw that despite the fact Mrs. M had developed a very dreadful complication of preeclampsia, that is Hellup syndrome, timely diagnosis, management and termination of pregnancy, careful pre-op, per-op and post-op management and a well-coordinated multidisciplinary approach helped us achieve a satisfactory maternal as well as fetal outcome. From where have you come? Oh, how many kids do you have? Your nothing is written in her referral, but why she is so Disney? Yes. Uh, you are letting. I have come to see labor room. Inform me all the situation. Ma'am, ma she just uh, came. She is gravid at three, para two mm. with two living issues, and uh, she is very Disney right now. Yes, ma'am. Obvious distress. May I ask? Yes, ma'am. Le rahe ho. Chalo, chalo. Jaldi monitor attach karo. Let's see how much saturation she is maintaining. History le rahe hain. Follows position. Sister, prop that. Yes, I'm copying. And have you started the oxygen? Yes, yes, I've started yes, it sir. already. Hmm. Check the blood pressure. pressure. Post Can't hear a thing. Can't make out any murmur. Pale bhi nahi hai. Kya cause hai? Itna sick kaise ho gai? Hmm. Ma'am, is it her blood pressure? Because it is 150 by 102. Oh, so it is pulmonary edema, precipitated and severe preeclampsia. Hmm. Yes, hmm. ma'am, maybe. So just get some lasik sister. Please give 20 milligrams Ma'am, her saturation is... Stat. Oh my god, her saturation is only 75 percent. You send a call for intubation. Yes, ma'am. Mm. intubation. Ma'am, ma meanwhile, I'll take her ABG and send some samples for investigations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm preparing for intubation. Mm. Mm -hmm. You'll be okay. Don't you worry. Can Please the call them. Uh -huh. I have made a call to anesthetist. Ma'am, 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 saturation is 57. It is dropping. Ma'am, she come. She's come. Doctor, very sick patient. Intubation tray. She is okay. the patient with Chai. respiratory distress. Okay, you have done the propped up positioning. Nice. Hmm. You have attached venti mask. How much FIO do you have said? 0.3. Okay. At the flow rate of? Ma'am, uh, 9 liters. 9 okay. liters per minute. That is fine. Hmm. She is having labor breathing. Aake koli hai ji. Naam batao apna. Naam batao. She seems to be drowsy. She is not hmm. following my commands. Okay. How much is the pulse rate on the screen? It's 100. With blood pressure, 150 by one. So it doesn't take an hour to get the ABG. Ma'am. Go and collect ABG. Yes, yes. Ma'am, I've got the ABG. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's suggestive of uncompensated respiratory acidosis. And saturation is 52%, yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh. Even her chest is... With intubation. Even her chest is full of crepes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. You have given Lasix? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We have given Lasix. Okay, and uh, fluid? How much fluid? No, no fluid. No fluid. Okay, we you have restricted. That is good thing. Uh, okay, the output seems to be 200 ml. Fine. She came with that much. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You send a call for a bedside chest x-ray and an ECG. Okay. Just stay. Start. You okay. assist her in the intubation. Okay, okay. We'll go and inform the attendant about the current status of the patient. If I have to and we'll try to elicit some history why she has deteriorated so suddenly like that. Mm. Yeah, Let's please retrieve please the record. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. I think okay. morphine also she'll need for the intubation. Okay. Please prepare it. Yes, I'm going to. Ma'am, this on. Okay. Need mouth mouth care? No, no. Give the drugs. So Give I'm me endotracheal tube. Okay. What size you have kept? 6.5. Okay, that is good. You should keep the smaller size. Okay, endotracheal tube. 6.5 six. Six. Six is fine. Okay, okay. Then take it. Okay. Kindly fix it. Please check the identity also. Okay, okay. Fixed it. I fixed it. Okay. Ma'am. Air entry is equal, ma'am. Hmm. Okay. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay, fine. Mm. I have connected the patient to the SIMB mode with mm. tidal volume of 450, respiratory rate of 14, mm. and uh, PEEP I have added 6. She is a pulmonary edema patient. Mm. I think we will add the PEEP. 
we can do the left lateral wedge we can put near okay so so get something to wedge the patient okay fine हाँ जी Had someone okay. gone to take the history? Yes ma'am. Uh, what haan. about the chest x-ray? Ma'am, they will be arriving okay. meanwhile. Okay, uh, I am writing down some investigations. Can you get it done and let me know? Okay, okay. Thank you ma'am. Ma'am, patient is better. We have put her on ventilator on uh, SIMV mode and uh, right now saturation is around 85-90%. Mm -hmm. Anything informative from the history? No, nothing. Okay. History is just too uncomplicated. Mm. Vaginal delivery, no clue there. Okay. I think it could be something very acute. Maybe mm. just obstetric, maybe just hypertension. Mm. Or is it an underlying cardiac disease? Maybe we are missing on this. Probably. Or a mm. I'll make a cardiologist call. Ma'am, yeah. PPCM is uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy. Yeah. Probably. Huh. Yeah, no? You just get in touch with the cardiologist here. Ma'am, whatever it is, the patient is in good labor. She's having mild regular contractions and luckily carefully presentation and uh, fetal heart rate is also regular. Oh sir, that's good for her. Mm. So I think, have you retrieved the record, everything with the baby oh. fine? Yes ma'am, I have retrieved her record and it mm. seems she was inadequately supervised the whole okay. pregnancy. Mm. And according to her records, she had high blood pressure since quite some time but I could not uh, find out whether she was any or any hypertensives or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have found one ultrasound which shows that uh, congenital malformations have been grossly ruled out and there is no uh, placental pre placenta previa. Okay. Satyaji, please, I'll be assessing how advanced she is in her labor. So I'll scrub and come. You arrange for a cervical assessment. Okay, yeah. okay. Sister, get this key. Ma'am, I sh uh, should I repeat the last six again? But हाँ yes, देख लो हाँ एक बार देख ले तो I think it's settled, ma'am. I don't think so. Good. That's good. Hmm. Yes, yes. Patient is adequately sedated, ma'am. Sister, mm. yeah. <laughs> she is 4 centimeters dilated. Oh, okay. 60 percent effaced. My okay. are absent like a clear. Okay. Station is around minus 1 to 0. Hmm. Okay. With two previous normal deliveries, she will deliver fast Shivani. Okay, ma'am. So you catch up the neonatologist well in time. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Prepare the delivery table, doctor? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I'll just collect the investigation. <laughs> ma'am, I've got her investigation. Platelet is fine this time, so I'll give the IM Max visit, right? Yeah. Mm. That's good for vaginal delivery also, na? Okay. okay. Shall I give the loading? Yes, 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 yes. So, all this while, uh, patient was doing fairly well. She was kept intubated on the SIMV mode. Her vitals remained stable. Her chest was clear now. And she was maintaining adequate urine output. And maxil prophylaxis was being also being given. Around four hours down the lane, her repeat per vaginum examination was done. And she was found to be in second stage. Let's see. Since the patient is mechanically ventilated, we have to get ready with the adequate preparation. What all have you done? 
Hmm. Ma'am, uh, right, I have kept the ventos yeah. ready for just her. Just convert it into a delivery hmm. table and she will be requiring assisted second stage. Okay. So, she will be requiring a ventos delivery. Sister ji, please right. check and bring the ventos bedside. Yeah. Okay. You talk to the neonatologist? Yes, ma'am. And keep preparedness for PPH. All you two don't in place. Right. So, our patient underwent an uneventful Ventus delivery, delivering a 3 kg healthy baby with APGAR scores of 8 9. And now it is 6 hours post delivery. Her vitals are stable, she's still intubated, and a repeat ABG is being done. Let's check out what that ABG is suggestive of. Okay, Darshan, how is the patient now? Ma'am, patient is better and uh, she doesn't read any uh, much FIO2 requirement also. We have kept That's it under 0.4. Okay, you have decreased it. Mm. Nice. Mm. Fine. Hanji, ठीक हो? नहीं नहीं बात मत कीजिए अभी बात नहीं कर पाओगे आप नली है मुंह में रुक जाइए रुक जाइए निकाल देंगे निकाल देंगे. Okay, her pulse is 78. Mm. BP is also settled. Mm. Fine, saturation 98%. Mm. ABG में pH? Ma'am, 7.4. Okay, fine. Mm. I think we can start her. So to mention, we also got an echo done for our patient and it was found to be normal. As a result, any cardiogenic cause for the pulmonary edema was ruled out. So to summarize, our patient developed pulmonary edema as a complication of severe preeclampsia. And that is the reason her condition improved after delivery and she had a fairly good recovery and was discharged in a few days in a satisfactory condition.